Lock down all staff teachers. Lock down at this moment. Obviously, you're going to have exit wounds. Close your eyes. You okay? Yeah. You can put it in your mouth between your cheek and gum. You want blood? You're obviously dead. Oh, come here. Get right here. I'm going to do a little um, bluing on your face. We're making her look more obviously dead. It's very important. Um, that kind of gives a sense of reality that they're really doing with real casualties. And, you know, naturally, you're going to want to help the most injured, but sometimes if they are obviously dead, like what I'm doing with her, you gotta move on to the ones that you can help survive. So we saw HISD police's response. We saw them, you know, approach the school, assess the situation, realize that it was something beyond their scope, and activate Houston police and SWAT team. Other tactical units that played, including you know, FBI, bomb techs, etc., you name it, they were there. They're going to be placing combat tourniquets, using combat gauze, using a variety of different things to really try to stabilize kids that are critically ill before they come to us. Which is good to know, because you want to know what they're going to be coming with and how they're going to be presenting to you. When you're coming out, what are going to be taking? We've got six red patients. And I think the biggest takeaway from working with some of these partners is that they're going to probably come to us in pretty good shape. Obviously in the emergency center we live in a world of controlled chaos most of the time. So some of us are very used to that. Um, but this is kind of next level. Some blood on her left arm. Okay, taken care of. Okay, okay. We wanted to take care of the sickest ones first that needed the most immediate intervention. And let's get some blood. It is controlled chaos, but you have to figure out how to take charge of the situation. It was scary. There are a lot of patients with different diagnosis, different things going on. And one of the things we had to figure out is how do we get everything done in the room and still have the ability to move the patients out of the room and get new patients in the room. The radio was communicating with the triage team lead because he was getting patients coming in and would essentially determine where they were going, where they were going to team red or team yellow, uh, and communicating with him when I thought we had too many patients or we had ready beds for him to come to us. In the actual EC, what we realize that, that today, right now, even with all our imperfections, this is where you want to be. These clinicians, these physicians, these administrators, they're going to deliver. The mission was lived out. It was impressive to watch. Another patient, 16-year-old, large GSW, penetrating through and through, abdomen to the back. Vital signs are stable. OR has been called, blood bank's called. They're going to be going to the, uh, going to need another OR in just a bit. Okay, OR5, thank you so much. Overall, I think we did great. There was a lot of resources put into this, a lot of time and effort. 
um, and I think it's a great learning opportunity for us and I would love to continue to do drills like this. I think what we did really well was was um, everybody knew their roles and they stuck with it and and the initial patients there was some confusion about what we needed to write down and such but once we got the hang of it that we were able to roll. The team was awesome. S seeing them being dragged, seeing kids over the shoulder of SWAT guys and they're kind of carrying them out of the building, things like that I think are um, you know, pretty intense things that, that they would do in real life. Our communication was a really good. I think um, our planning, we did a huddle prior to um, our patients coming. Um, our communication over the radio, we utilized um, our m track and I think all of that went really good. Practice makes perfect, so you gotta practice. And one thing we did learn from this is really it doesn't matter what the incident is, our response needs to be the same.